Hello and welcome back. This is problem K stones from Adcoder Educational TP contest. Let's go over the problem statement. There is a set A consisting of n positive integers. Taro and Jiro will play the following game against each other in this game. We have pile consisting of K stones. The two players perform the following operation alternatively starting from tarot. The operation states that we need to choose some element x in the given set A and remove exactly k stones from this pile. So the pile had k initial number of stones and in each move we are going to choose some value x which is the element A of i in the given set and remove those many number of stones from this pile. And this move is possible only when k is greater than equals to e of i so that we don't end up in a negative amount of stones in the pile. And the losing state for any player is that this value becomes zero. So after some number of moves, let's say this was the second choice and so on, this would result in a state where the number of stones in the pile is zero. In this is a losing state for any opponent and assuming both players opti play optimally we need to determine the winner of this game constants are n is up to 100 k is up to 10 to 5 and uh, the array values are bounded by k Time. now let's try to understand the problem a bit better so this is a game theory problem. We need to find out who would be the winner uh, performing some strategy. So we only have one state to consider which is the number of stones in the pile. Let's denote it by k which was given to us initially. Then the uh, any one of the player will perform the move, remove some number of stones from this pile then the other player would remove some other number of stones and so on and this removal will go on until we reach a state zero all right so this must be the state we need to consider in our problem statement and removing any number of stones from this pile is the choices that are available to any player now the main idea uh, for solving any type of game theory problem is to consider these two conditions for optimal game so the player tries to put the opponent in a losing state each since each of them are playing optimally they are trying to win the game for themselves and it is as same as putting the opponent in a losing state so remember this first point and the second point is that both players in their turns try to find any losing state for the opponent over possible choices of current move possible for that particular player so let's say player p1 is playing and uh, let's say the state of the game is at x and he has uh, n choices as we saw to remove a1 a2 up to n values from this now this may result in n possible state transitions right so it would result in x minus a1 or x minus a2 and so on to x minus n now if you perform these operations these are the possible choices right for player p1 but this choices may result in a winning or losing condition for this player this may be a winning or losing choice for a particular player so each player will try to find out what choice i must take in this turn so this is a turn for player p1 so that this transition results in a losing state for the opponent 
right so the next state would be the state of the opponent and current state would be the winning state for the current player who is playing so p1 would have been playing this he made some choice to remove ai from this state and it resulted in a losing state for player p2 this is what each of them will try to do so again p2 will try to find out some a of j he will try to find some choice then he will try to check whether this results in a losing state for p1 if this is a losing state for p1 that means it would be a winning state for previous player's turn and so on this will go on until you reach at a state where this is a losing case for either p1 or p2 depending on who will be reaching at this state and this is how the entire the recursion will look like so let's try to implement this in code we take an in input n and k and uh, the set of values that are possible for each choice this is the dp array for storing memoized values and then we are calling this function go which will return to us whether first player is a winner or not so uh, if the first the first move is performed by taro and we are starting the recursion by saying that we have these many number of stones present in the pile and let's try to find whether let's try to make choices for taro in the first state so k minus a1 k minus a2 or anything k minus ai would be the first choice and this uh, recursion tree will go on until there is some losing state for any opponent which is the base case where k is zero let's try to look at the recursion now this variable denotes what is the remaining number of stones in the pile so this will denote whether we have zero or more than zero number of stones present till now after performing all uh, the turns to reach at this state this is for memoization that we don't compute the same set again and again this answer denotes whether uh, this player whoever is whoever it is either wins or loses so zero means a losing state and one means a winning state and if no choices are available for this player then this for loop would not run and this would result in a losing state by default for that player this is how we are initializing the variable then we try to go over all the choices all possible choices which is e of i belongs to the set of values that are given to us we check whether these values is a valid choice if we don't have enough in our file if we have uh, less values than that we are trying to remove then it is not possible hence it is important to check this case and after we remove these many number of uh, stones from this pile it would have this many number of stones left and this is the state for the next player which is the opponent and we are passing that value to the next call recursion and this is the answer for the opponent and we check whether this is a losing state for the opponent we check whether opponent loses on performing this choice of removing a of i so this was the choice we had n choices and we try to find at least one any one choice 
which results in the loss of the opponent and if such a choice is found then we will choose it because it is always optimal to put the opponent in a losing state and this will essentially be updated with 0 or 1 after performing all the choices and uh, the base condition is also handled here this condition is that we don't have any more stones present in the pile that means rem will be zero and this will never go past the if condition and it would be returned as zero from this function yeah this is it about the solution the main idea were these two points always keep them in mind that the player tries to put the opponent in a losing state so each player in their turn try to find any one losing state for the opponent over all the possible choices that are available to that player at that particular state so that's it about this if you found this helpful do let me know in the comments and if you have any doubts or suggestions drop them down in the comments thank you